welcome back last class we discussed about very important posture evaluation tool that was rula rapid upper limb assessment now in the next version or next advancement of that particular tool that take us to a new different tool that was developed in 2001 by similar group of uh, researchers or same group of researchers uh, named as rapid entire body assessment or REBA in short form we call it as REBA. So let us go uh, and understand the detail of it. Before we go to REBA I would like to mention uh, that here it is developed in 2000 it is the group of these people, the similar group that Mac Atomney who developed our uh, tool that is RULA. Now this tool was developed by Hignet and Mac Atomney. Okay? To assess the unpredictable working posture found in healthcare and other service industries. Now this tool when they developed, they mainly did the studies in the sector of healthcare. If you look at RULA, you have understood that this part, uh, that RULA tool is mainly used where you are sitting and doing the job. Now always if you look at the other industry like you know due to industrial revolution, most of the industry adopted such posture. However, in healthcare industry where you know patient handling is a major uh, you know uh, chunk of work here there you cannot really go for only sitting job there are lot of whole body activities so from that perspective they started understanding how we can understand those details and how we can evaluate it so they developed reba to evaluate whole body postural MSD and risk associated with job task. Assign score for each body region. So what they will do? They will do uh, similar as in RULA, wrist, forearm, elbow, shoulder, neck, trunk, back, legs and knee. They will be assigning score and they will take it forward. It is a rating of posture force and movement required while performing that uh, particular task. So first they will talk about the posture of the uh, these body parts neck, trunk, limbs and all and then they will go for the force and the movement as we did in RULA. So what are the applications of RULA? So musculoskeletal risk can be measured of course, we are uh, this particular posture assessment tool either it is uh, WASH or RULA or REBA or QEC ultimately it, it gives an understanding what is the kind of risk available for the development of musculoskeletal disorder. So, musculoskeletal risk can be measured as a part of broader ergonomics intervention. So, musculoskeletal load on the present and modified workstation design can also be compared. So, if, if you have two varieties or three varieties of workstation where similar work can be done and you can taste the what is the kind of musculoskeletal load is arising due to uh, the adaptation of the posture. Okay. So, that you can really compare and which is the best one you can choose and you can go ahead with the further modification. So, outcomes like productivity or suitability of the equipment can also be evaluated using this particular tool REBA. Workers can be educated about the musculoskeletal risk created by different working posture. This is very important point uh, it is also applicable for RULA and WASH that once you understand that yes this particular posture is not correct then you can really discuss why this posture is not correct or is not uh, comfortable for them 
or it is if they are adopting this particular posture for longer so longer hours what is going to happen so as it is you no know, lot of uh, uh, depicted pictures are there you know explaining the position of your body parts it, it is always helpful for someone to explain to the workers or the adapters or like the operators and then you can take it further like you know you can train them you can explain them why this is not good why this is good okay so this particular point is very very important you can really explain which part of the body of the operator is causing more danger or more risk for them okay so you have individual body scoring body part scoring so it always helps that how how this is going to create difficulties in long run okay so this is very important application Procedure is very very similar as we did in ruler. So observing and selecting the posture to assess. Do you remember that how do we select posture? Yes, we select posture. Those postures are frequently occurring in a work cycle or in a job cycle. So frequently occurring posture or the posture which is being hold by the operator for longer hours or more than 50% of their working cycle okay so if that way you select posture of course for a uh, you know longer run you know if someone cannot hold the posture for 8 hours same posture right so they are adapting different posture in the working uh, condition so you can select of course this selection is definitely connected to the objective of your research so whatever objectives you have set before starting this particular posture analysis based on that and the assumption of you know uh, frequently occupied posture or posture which is being held by the operator for longer hours based on all this you select the posture once you select the posture then what do you do we, you give the scoring to the body parts as we did in rula once we do the scoring we have similar pre computed table and from those pre computed table what we do we try to get the final reading final score of reba and from the final score of course the action level okay so a total 13 steps are involved as we did in rula as well and uh, what it does it can be divided into two major sections section a and section b here the section a deals with neck trunk and leg in rula in section a we did with the Upper, upper arm, lower arm, wrist and wrist twist whereas in the uh, in Reba in the section B we deals with the arm and wrist. So this is little different and three pre-computed tables are there from that we will get the scoring. So for section A we have trunk so locate the neck posture, locate the trunk posture, leg, look up the posture score in table A at the force and load score, score A uh, which is found in table C. In next arm and wrist analysis, so upper arm, lower arm, wrist position and lock up the posture score in the B like table B at the coupling score. Then here it is little different here we are talking about coupling how you are holding the things so that coupling is uh, involved then you get the score b and then you go for the activity score so let us start with this particular example or this particular understanding how do we get the neck score okay so for neck if neck is not straight okay so here the assumption is when you are working of course neck is 
for you know in a forward bending condition okay we you know looking at straight you really cannot do any job uh, it's very difficult in industrial situation so here the modification is if it is 10 to 20 degree forward bending then it is plus 1 if it is more than 20 degree then it is plus 2 or anything in the extension direction that is plus 2 similar kind of adjustment if your neck is twisted okay moved in these two sides that is twisting so you have plus 1 and neck is bending these two sides like this then it is bending so twisting is this again i am repeating because we get confused while doing the ex exercise while uh, uh, collecting the data so this is twisting and this is bending okay so once we get this uh, this course finally we get the value of neck score so this is again an uh, a picture which is adapted from one of the internet source and from here we can understand what is the neck score so if you look at the neck bending it is around 10 to 20 degrees so the score value is 1 it is not twisted it is not bended it the person is person is looking straight like that uh, you know uh, this uh, this eye vision, vision is very straight so it is not this side or this side okay so it is one so neck score for this particular posture which is being described in this figure is one now going for like trunk okay so trunk we have a few more modification one is if you are standing straight so zero movement okay then it is plus one if anything is extension then plus two or forward bending zero to 20 degree that is plus two 20 to 60 degree forward bending plus three more than 60 degree plus 4 okay once we have these values then again the similar kind of adjustment for twisting and bending twisting mean whole body is moving either on left side or right side that is twisting so plus 1 or side bending so from the lumbar region if you are bending on this side or this side then it is plus one so in this particular figure there is no such bending so approximately we can see that it is forward bending is 20 to uh, 60 degree that is that is why it is plus three now leg what leg says leg says if evenly the foot is placed on the uh, floor then it is plus one if it is one is placed one is not placed plus two if knee is bended 30 to 60 degree then one more plus one and if more than 60 degree it is bending bended then it is plus 2 so here you get little more detailing about the leg first you need to see if fit is the basic scoring is if it is placed evenly on the floor or not if it is placed then it is plus 1 if one is placed another is not placed then it is plus 2 after that you have to see that knee is bended or not if knee is in a bent condition then it is then you have to see at what angle so if it is 30 to 60 degree then add 1 plus 1 and if more than 60 degree then it is plus 2 so here in this uh, from this figure you can see one knee is in bent condition right so first is one and then leg score it becomes two 
So, what we, we are getting over here? Here we are assuming this, okay. Now, here one thing that from which angle, like which side are you considering the right side or left side? If you are here, you can do from both sides. First, you do from left right side or operating side. So, dominant hand side, another you can do from the other side. So, for this example, we have taken the score value of 1 as leg, trunk as 3 and neck as 1. Okay. So, you already know how do we read these type of tables. So, here first you go for neck that is 1. So, your score remains in this particular region. Then you go for trunk. So, that was 3. So, this particular section and then your leg is 1. So, this particular section. So, that means your score became 2. Fine. So, your score became 2. Now, what you have to do? You have to add load and force score and you have to check what is the final value. So, it says you look at here, you look at here. So, if it is load is less than 11 pound, then no score adding like plus 0. If it is 10, uh, 11 to 22 plus 1, more than 22, then uh, 22 pound you can convert it into kg as well okay as per your requirement then it is 2. So, adjustment is if shock or rapid build up score uh, you know, sudden jerk is there then also you can add plus 1. So, that way you can adjust the score and uh, then you can go for the next requirement uh, or next part of the analysis. What is the next part of the analysis? Next part of the analysis is your arm and wrist. Okay. Let's go ahead with the next table. What it says? Similar kind of scoring system. So, upper arm 0 to 20 degree forward or 0 to 20 degree backward, it is plus 1. If more than 20 degree in the backward direction or in extension then plus 2, 20 to 45 degree plus 2. So, here it is similar. Okay. Now, 45 to 90 degree plus 3 and more than 90 degree it is plus 4. Similar kind of adjustment what it says that if the shoulder is raised then you add one more value that is plus 1. If your upper arm is abducted, again I am explaining what is abduction. Abduction is your arm is away from your body. So, if you are doing some job little far from your body, then what will happen? To hold that particular posture, you will have more strain on your trunk is on your trunk, shoulder muscles and arm muscles, right? So, you have to give one more additional score that is plus 1. Whereas, if you your arm is, you know, uh, getting an uh, rest on the uh, arm rest, then you subtract 1 or person is leaning, okay? Then also it is minus 1. Okay. So, it is minus 1. If your arm is supported, then it is minus 1. Now, let us go for lower arm. Here, we have only two score 0, uh, uh, sorry, 60 to 100 degree movement, then plus 1, more than 100 degree or below 60 degree, then it is what? Plus 2. So, this is an arc of 180 degree right it is an arc of 180 degree. So, this is the most comfortable zone of work this is most comfortable zone of work. So, anything between that you have plus 1 if anything between you know not in this region it is plus 2. 
then you have to do the wrist position plus 1 uh, if it is 15 degree uh, of flexion and extension or more than that so plus 1 and plus 2. So, here you get all these values ok. So, uh, you need to see for these this particular table sorry this particular table right you have to look for this particular table and you get the score ok. Once you get this particular value that is from the table B we call it score B you have to go for the coupling factor or coupling score. Why coupling? Now we have seen that while doing any kind of activity if your holding holding procedure is not very correct or is not is difficult then you have extra musculoskeletal load on the body. So, if you are carrying something and the carriage has a good coupling then you have let less difficulties to handle such load. However, the same weight if the, the uh, uh, coupling is not good you find it more difficult or more strenuous than the earlier one, earlier one. So, in this particular tool in Reba we use coupling ok. So, we have uh, you know descriptive definition and then accordingly we choose what type of coupling it is. What it says well fitting handle very nice handle and mid range power grip. So, you have some you know mid range power grip. So, we call it as good then no uh, no extra load. So, it is 0 acceptable but not ideal ok fine you can use that particular uh, handle it is acceptable however it is not ideal to hold or coupling ok then it is ok coupling acceptable with another body part then it is fair so plus 1. So, you have difficulties but it is ok like you can do it so then plus 1 and hand hold uh, not acceptable however it is possible. Here one thing if it is not possible then definitely such posture will not be there in the industry right. If it is not possible to occupy then definitely that is not there. So, it is very difficult however it is possible to manage then it is poor or plus 2 and no handles extremely awkward very unsafe with any body part then it is unacceptable and we give the scoring of 3 ok plus 3. So, in this step 12 what we exactly do? So, we add all these values. So, we have a table uh, from the table B we have a score and we use the coupling. So, we have a total value of score B. Now, we have score A and we have score B. What do we do with these scores? We will go for the uh, no looking for this particular score in table C. So, what it says that add values from tab, uh, no step 10 and 11 to obtain the score B and find column in table C and match with the score A uh, in row from the step 6 to obtain which you already obtain and then you get the score C. And this particular value score C actually going to give you the action level. Here this is little different than ruler. Once we get the grand score in Rula, we stop. However, in Reba, we have some more addition. What is that addition? The addition is these activity scores. These activity scores. This is not there in Rula. In Reba, these are extra things. Okay. What it says? Plus 1 one or more body parts are held for longer hours 
than 1 minute. So, you are talking about static posture. So, if you have some score, then again you have to add 1 if the posture is static in nature. Repeated small range action that is more than 4 per minute. So, more than 4 times you are repeating the job per minute, then it is uh, plus 1. One more thing that action causes rapid or large range changes in the posture or it is unstable in actual in base then also plus 1. So, this activity scoring is something gives more dynamic or more uh, realistic understanding about the working posture. So, once you get the score then you have to go for your final value. Okay. So, you have uh, score C. So, these scores suppose for this example. Okay. So, you get this value. So, score, uh, score A and table C from so what you do from score A you have 3 and uh, uh, score B you have 10. So, final value rem become uh, 8 and once this is 8 and you find you have an activity score that is 1 then final score became or REBA score became 9 for this particular example. For your case it can be different. Okay, So, you need to find out that. Now, once you have that particular scoring, what you have to do? You have to look for action level. Very similar as we did in REBA. One is negligible. Now, you, you need not to worry about. Okay, No action required. Two to three low risk change may be needed. So, that is the score 2 to 3, 4 to 7, medium risk, further investigation and changes required. However, it is soon. Okay. So, you, you, you do it. However, there is no emergency. Now, 8 to 10, high risk investigation and implementation is required and more than 11 or more than that, it is very high risk and implement the change now or immediately. So, these are the action level you have to derive from your REBA. Fine. So, let us understand the what are the advantages. Relation between the score and regional pain can be demonstrated as I mentioned in RULA. Suppose you have a prevalence point prevalence or weekly prevalence of back pain you can really see what is the trunk posture uh, available or what is the kind of trunk posture is being opted or adopted by the operator and you can really find the relation between it so it's very very easy and it's it gives you real understanding what are the actual risk factor. It gives an indication, it gives the direction. So, outcomes like productivity and suitability of equipment can also be evaluated. Workers can be educated regarding high risk posture. Comparison can be made between the pre and post investigations, you know, intervention stages that I do for both like WASH, RULA, REBA and many other tools where we, we have some scoring. So, we do pre and post. So, we can see is there any improvement or not and it is very quick and easy and similar photographic method that we are using for WAS or RULA we can use for REBA as well. Disadvantages task duration, recovery time, vibration, these things we cannot consider or cannot get any understanding about these factors in this particular tool. Organizational and psychological factors also not being considered. Capturing the right photograph may be very difficult which 
may cause the wrong interpretation of the posture and which may lead you in uh, no wrong data collection okay so that's why collecting the correct photograph is very very important and really you need to do it very nicely effectively once you have correct photograph correct body posture positioning then only you will get the correct value or good observation several reba assessment may be required for one task of course within uh, with uh, just for uh, one posture, uh, posture analysis we will not give the entire picture of the whole task and have to choose the most extreme posture that i mentioned earlier also very extreme posture only you should take care okay so uh, what is the approximate time uh, what you require very similar as rula Ru reba was developed to require minimum training new users are suggested to practice using photographs and video tapes of the posture before you use the tool uh, for actual data collection and one to two hours is required required to familiarize so very very easy you need a pen and uh, a reba sheet because the in the scoring system is very important so you need a reba sheet with you to give the rating and camera of course to capture correct photograph so these are the things is associated with reba as i mentioned very easy tool so all of you go and start uh, you know clicking photographs whatever is required for you and using the reba uh, data sheet you can analyze the final reba score and you can do the intervention if required again you check what is the kind of improve, improvement if improvement happen then very good if improvement not happen then you look for what way you can do the improvement okay so that's all for today for reba we will go for qec quick exposure checklist in our next class thank you